One way to address climate change and regreen the earth is to engage and support the next generation of underrepresented students of science and researchers on a global scale. It's critical to have all hands on deck to solve problems and foster meaningful support and change. We cannot afford to leave any voices idled when solving equations linked to large scale threats. I am Charlton Shackleton and I am an entrepreneur sailor and the executive director of the Shackleton Research Trust. Through my time working around the Caribbean, I have seen firsthand how climate change affects small island nations with limited resources. Think about the following statement. Dr. James Moremem Benzi of the United Nations Economic Commission for Africa points out, while Africa is responsible for only 4% of global greenhouse gas emissions, 65% of the African population is directly impacted by climate change. To put this into perspective, you have over 780 million people directly impacted by a problem to which they've had very little contribution and yet will have the insurmountable responsibility for solving. Now think about the Caribbean with a population of 18 million plus. Most Caribbean nations have turned to the sun, sand, and sea as a primary driver of their economy. Each year, dust from the Sahara Desert blows across the Atlantic, and in 2019, these plumes were the most dense on record. These clouds not only have negative impact on air quality and directly impact public health, they also deliver vast amounts of fertilizer across the ocean, which stimulates photosynthesizers. One of these photosynthesizer plants is called sargassum, and it forms very large blooms as a result of this increased nutrition. The problem with sargassum in large amounts is when it washes ashore and sits in the sun, it breaks down and releases hydrogen sulfide, which is a foul smelling poisonous gas. In 2018, over 11,000 people suffered from illness due to exposure to sargassum on two Caribbean islands alone. So not only do 18 million people have to deal with public health concerns from Sahara dress directly, but as a secondary effect of poisonous rotting seaweed which is damaging in many different ways. Our objective at the Shackleton Research Trust is to place resources directly into the hands of promising students of science who otherwise would not have the opportunity to complete research projects, present findings and papers at international symposiums, or to be published in academic journals. Small island nations are on the front lines of climate change and they need to be part of the solution. In a corresponding video, Dr. Belhabib, our chief science officer, made reference to the fact that marine life is migrating due to climate change. And these resources are the lifeblood of coastal nations, whether it's for food or ecotourism. I've had many conversations with our family and friends in Trinidad and Tobago and other island nations throughout the Caribbean one common theme that keeps coming up is how this island has changed so much since they were kids. Everyone speaks about how the fish were abundant, many colors of fish around, many species existed. Looking over the last 80 years, we really see the effects of humans and climate are accelerating these changes. It's up to us today to make sure we have the tools to solve tomorrow's problems. One of the best ways to solve problems that require creative solutions is to have a diverse pool of where ideas come from. By increasing the diversity in science and research, you have the perfect opportunity to bring new ideas forward and create meaningful change. In 2022, Dr. Belhabib will be leading a trip to Antarctica with a group of underrepresented students of science who come from equatorial countries. This trip coincides with a 100 year anniversary of Sir Ernest Shackleton's death. 
By bringing the students on this research trip, we look to raise global awareness of the importance of diversity in science research and that climate ch related challenges are a local issue that are unique to each area of the world. We need all hands on deck for this one. Thank you.